Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Evan with Podpeak, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own custom keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. Let's dive in. All right, I talk about this all, t all the time, but one of the best functions about Reaper is its ability to be customized to work the way that we want it to work for us. We don't have to adapt to how the program works. Rather, we can do uh, customization type things all throughout the program to make it work exactly the way we want to do it. And one of the easiest and most simple ways to get into starting to customize your own program is by learning how to customize your own shortcuts. So let me give you a couple of examples. All right, so we're looking at a blank screen here. And up here in the upper left, we've got some toolbar icons that are used for certain functions. Um, we've got crossfade enable, we've got grouping, we've got ripple editing, the grid, snapping, and on and on. Uh, and most of those have keyboard shortcuts already assigned to them. Now one of the toolbar buttons up here is the metronome. So if I turn this on and press play, you can hear the metronome. Now if I turn it off, the metronome goes away. Uh, but I want to be able to assign a keyboard shortcut to enable the metronome on and off so I don't have to use my mouse. So there's a couple ways you can do this. First of all, you can go up to the menu, go up under actions, to the action list, or you can hit the keyboard shortcut, which is the question mark. So we'll pull that up, and in the filter, let's type in metronome. And what we're looking for here is options, toggle, metronome. That toggles the metronome on and off. So to add your own custom keyboard shortcut, click on this, go down to add, and what I'm gonna use is option E which pops up right here, hit OK. And now close this window and let's go back up to the metronome and I'm gonna hit option E and it turns it on. So let's go ahead and hit play. The metronome's off. I'm gonna hit my keyboard shortcut. The metronome comes on. So it just shows you right there how simple it is to customize your own keyboard shortcuts. Let's do another one. Let me create a track by double clicking We'll name this narration. We'll say I'm setting up a, a narration track here. So let's say I want to color this track. Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, you can go up to the menu again under track, scroll down to track color, set tracks to custom colors, and then let's choose this red. Now we've got it colored. Uh, another way is you can right click on the track scroll down to track color, set tracks to custom color, and then pick a color. But I want to have a keyboard shortcut to do this so I don't have to use my mouse. And I also want to use the new version 6 theme adjuster for my colors. So let's go ahead and pull up our actions window. Let's filter theme adjuster. Click on this, hit add, and I'm going to use option A which pops up right here, hit OK. And now, uh, when I hit Option A, my theme adjuster comes up so I can start coloring my track, any color I want. So this is a quick tutorial. Uh, I really just wanted to give you a quick overview and just show you how simple and quite frankly, how powerful it is to start being able to customize your Reaper program to work faster, to work the way you want it to work. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to like this video and feel free to leave comments in the comment section. And if you have questions about podcasting or Reaper, you can go ahead and reach out to me at evan at podpeak.com. All right, take care.